Have you heard of Pinterest? Well, most likely if you're a girl, you have been on Pinterest. The average time on Pinterest is 40 minutes. Crazy. And the fastest market is men on Pinterest. Pinterest is a search engine. We Google it in Pinterest. So we're gonna to talk today how to become the most findable business in Pinterest. So have you heard of Pinterest? Pinterest is a very fast growing social media platform. It's been around for a while, but it's really come into its own. Now let's talk a little bit about what Pinterest is. So Pinterest, think of like a pin board or a bulletin board. Each board is represented with a bunch of pins inside of each board. Now each board has a title or a theme for that board. So this one is keywords, this one is images, this one is workshops. And all of these have tools, hashtags, rose gold, retreats, keywords, and Earl Grey tea. So you can have a little bit of everything in here. Now the cool thing is, is as we are building our Pinterest board, not only do the individual boards rank in Google, so do the individual pins are findable inside of Pinterest. So what happens is, is you're able to then start really building a thought leadership platform based on the pins and the boards that you share. So as I continue to share over time, each one of these boards is findable, and then each one of these concepts, so each one of these board titles, keywords, tools, Earl Grey images, hashtags, and, and keynotes, these are all gonna be seen and indexed by Google. Now, as I start adding more pins into here, then it creates credibility for each board. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I've just Googled my name and let's take a look and see what comes up under it. Of course, I have my website and all of my individual um, pages on my site that come up. These, by the way, are the most searched pages on your website, the most visited, I should say. Come down, there's my LinkedIn profile. Come down, here are the um, latest videos. Aha, look at that. 125 best findability university images. So I click on that, that goes right into Pinterest. And what you'll see here is that it goes directly to a findability university uh, board. Now what you'll notice is that people can follow the board. Right now I have 934 followers on this board and 125 pins. So as you come down, you'll see that these are all images that I have posted. And I keep gathering them over time. So you'll see here that I've got people holding their diplomas. I've got infographics here. I've got all different kinds of things and people follow that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and log in. What we're looking at is the ability to see how people search. And I could come up here and I could put um, SEO workshops. All right. Now if I had named, let's just say I named this one right here, maybe I named this one SEO workshops. Then if I did SEO workshops here, then you would see my board here in Pinterest. You would also see the individual images that I've named SEO Workshop in these book pins as well. So remember, a pin is just like putting a little thumbtack, if you will, and you're pinning it in these respective groups. And each of the boards has its own keyword theme. So keyword being the operative phrase because the keyword indicates to Google how to rank each one of these boards. So when you're thinking about an interesting, different kind of visual search engine, Pinterest is perfect for this because not only is the largest community women on Pinterest, the average time is like 40 minutes, which is insane on a social media site. So when you're thinking about it, people love to gather and organize, kind of like a really well-organized closet. The shirts are in one area, the pants are in another, you know, the jackets are in another. We naturally want to organize by type. Now, if I am interested in a bunch of different things, I'm interested in, in, in you know, like interiors, and I'm interested in um, SEO, and I'm interested in you know, a bunch of different topics, I can create all of my pins to reflect what is most important to me or what's happening in my life. So Pinterest, if you hadn't considered adding this to your marketing mix, I highly suggest you do so because not only do the boards rank in Google, but also the, the watch time inside of Pinterest is ridiculous and it's a whole untapped community of potential visits to your website, 
followers on your, on your social, and it's just a great way to repurpose a piece of content. So what do I mean by that? So when you are creating content, there's three major buckets you wanna think about. First of all, there's the website, then there's the blog, then there's the social share. So we've got your website, your blog, and your social media. Now they all have this intersection point. So what we wanna think about is any content that we post on a page in the website gets shared to the blog. And then any image on that page can also be shared to social. So remember, you can share pages just as well as you can share blogs. Now, I'm gonna take one blog post that I post maybe every week, and it has an image on it. So of course, the blog is resident on my page. That's where I can find it. And then I can take the image from that blog and share it to social. Now, so that's how the website works. That's how the blog works. Now let's talk about social media. Uh, if I have the blogs and someone finds me, let's say this is in Pinterest, and they find one of those images and they click on that, it can either take them back to the blog or back to the website. So you'll see that it's, these are not working in their own individual silos. The website can share its pages to the blogs and to the social media. The blogs can also be found on the website and also shared in social media or Pinterest. And of course the blogs that we're already creating have images, so share them like crazy. So when we're thinking about a tool like Pinterest, I want you to think like a tree. Isn't that nice? I'm a very good drawer. Okay, so the trunk, right, is SEO or whatever phrase that you want to, to optimize for. So that's the trunk. Now what about all the leaves that are in here? So Pinterest helps you to understand if you want to call your board SEO, then inside of that you're going to have keywords, Google, hashtags, um, index, pay-per-click, and whatever else you want, blogs. But they're all pointing down and they're fortifying the concept of SEO. So you create a board in Pinterest called SEO or SEO workshops. Then as you're posting individual pins on those, that, this one board, you're building up the credibility for all of these phrases as well. So if I go into Pinterest and I type in keywords or keyword tools, that pin is gonna be found. When they find that pin, they come back to the board on SEO. So with every single thing that I'm pinning out into the Pinterest universe, it's all coming back to this board on SEO. So not only does SEO rank in Google for that board, but all of these keywords are now findable inside of Pinterest. Super powerful, man. So if you love images and you're already creating images as part of your social media strategy, consider building Pinterest. You've already got the images, you've already got the blogs, you might as well share it to one more social site, a visual search engine, if you will, called Pinterest. Well, I tell you, I really love Pinterest. I have over 10,000 followers on Pinterest. I don't even know how that happened. Because <laughs> I was just pinning my favorite stuff and people seem to really resonate with that. So if you haven't considered Pinterest as part of your overall social media mix, and you have questions about why Pinterest, how can I use Pinterest, what's a pin and a board, go ahead and comment below. Ask me your question. I watch those comments and I will respond to you. If you're interested in staying current on all the latest social media trends like Pinterest, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and hit the button so that you get a notification every day of our coolest videos that drop every single day.